In this video, we'll review how to use your REDCAT system. The REDCAT is designed to evenly distribute the teacher's voice throughout the room so all students can clearly hear and understand the teacher. REDCAT is an instructional audio system that requires no installation and can be simply set on a tabletop, typically along the side or the back of the classroom. This is your flex mic and it's really easy to use. You have one button to turn it on and off. And that same button is also your mute. Flex mic hangs comfortably around your neck with its magnetic lanyard. You'll want to adjust it to the proper length using the adjusters on the side so the top of your microphone sits below your collarbone. That puts it in the proper location so whether you're in the corner of the room or turning facing the whiteboard, your voice is clearly heard throughout the room. Here's the good part. When the flex mic is on, you no longer need to project and use your teacher voice. Just speak soft, conversational tones. Once you are used to wearing the flex mic, you'll begin to experience a calmer classroom and students become more engaged and focused. You'll also notice that at the end of the day, you'll have more energy and less vocal strain. The first time you use your flex mic, it should be on the charger ready for use. The power status light is on the front of the microphone. It will turn green after a full night's charge, indicating the battery is ready. A red light indicates it is still charging. Remove the microphone from the charger. You'll see that the power status light and the power mute button turn white. This indicates the microphone is on, but muted. The flex mic automatically mutes when you remove it, so it stays quiet while you put it on. When you have the flex mic around your neck and positioned properly, go ahead and tap the power mute button. You'll notice the light will turn blue, indicating the audio is live. At this point, you should hear your voice coming through the classroom speaker. Now we need to make sure the volume is set to an optimum level. A common mistake is to set the volume level too high. Louder volumes actually cause students to become fatigued and may result in feedback when you walk near the speaker. Optimum volume is set at a level where you can just barely hear your own voice. It's best to have another person in the room to test the volume, but generally out of the box, the system volume will be close to the appropriate level. If you do need to turn the volume up or down slightly, you can press the volume up down arrows on the side of the flex mic. If the volume is still much too high or too low, you may need to adjust the volume level at the system. Once the volume is set, you generally don't need to adjust it throughout the day. At this point, just begin teaching as normal. If you want to have a private conversation, step out into the hallway, or stop using the flex mic for any reason, just tap the power mute button, the light will turn white, the microphone is muted. There's generally not a need to fully power the microphone off. The battery will hold up its charge all day, up to eight hours. But if you wish to do so, press and hold the power mute button for about two seconds, and you will see the light go off. Turn it back on, press the power mute button for a couple of seconds, and the light will glow white, indicating the microphone is on and ready to use. At the end of the day, you will need to return your microphone to the cradle charger for nightly charging. As I mentioned, a battery will last a full day, up to eight hours, but will need to be charged each night. A full charge cycle takes five to six hours. Place your microphone in the charger. You will see that the power status light will glow red, indicating the charge has started. In the morning, when you return, your microphone will be fully charged and the power status light will glow green. Also, if during operation the power status light turns red, that means your battery charge is running low. Generally, there will still be 30 to 40 minutes of operation before your battery is fully depleted. Your system is shipped with the flex mic prepared to the Red Cat. But if for any reason you need to pair it with a different system, follow this pairing process. From a powered off state, point the IR transmitter lens on top of the flex mic toward the red cat. Press and hold the power mute button for five seconds until both mic one and two lights start flashing. Then release the button and let the pairing process finish. The status lights on the red cat will begin flashing, alternating between blue and white. Once the pairing is complete, it will turn solid blue. The microphone's one or two LED on the flex mic will light to indicate pairing is complete and the microphone is ready for operation.
With that, you now know everything you need to know to effectively use this powerful tool.